guys, I'm Professor Bialo in the English department at Manhattanville College, and I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes today about, first of all, why being an English major is such a fun, exciting, rewarding, overall awesome experience, especially at Manhattanville, and how being an English major at Manhattanville sets you up with the skills, tools, knowledge, fundamental experience you need to succeed in whatever career or endeavor you choose after college. So basically what we do in the English department is we study and teach and learn about the history of the written word and images throughout Western society from ancient Rome through the modern day. So we are doing writing and film and images. And this means for Manhattanville, one of the things that is most unique about the English department at Manhattanville is that we have one big department, but it's split up into three basic concentrations. You have the English literature concentration, you have the creative writing concentration, and then you have the film studies concentration. And so when you become an English major, you get to choose, do you want to focus on literature, creative writing, or film? So when you decide to be an English major, you choose one of these three concentrations, English literature, creative writing, or film. We in the English department, though, believe that no matter what form of writing or visual imagery you're studying, you really need a basic foundation in what great things have been done in the past. So everybody starts off with a certain number of courses in English literature and film history, because we believe that you need to know in order to be great writers and thinkers and filmmakers, you need to know what great writers, thinkers and filmmakers have come before you. What have people done? What have they thought about? How have they honed their craft? How have they been innovative? Um, how have they produced new things? How have they thought about history? How have they thought about philosophy? How have they thought about race and gender and international politics? So you start off as an English major getting a really, really good foundation in all of these questions and you'll study Shakespeare and you'll study um, John Milton, and you'll study Charlotte Bronte, and you'll study Jane Austen, and you'll study um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and you'll study William Baldwin, and you'll, you'll become an expert in all of these great, just phenomenal, brilliant writers of the past. Now, if you want to be a creative writing, if you want to do the creative writing concentration, what you'll then do is take a number of classes in creative writing. So you get this amazing foundation in English literature, and then you move into, or even at the same time, you're also taking these classes in creative writing. These are small workshop intensive classes where you get to hone your own craft. So you've learned about, or you're learning about what's great about what people have done in the past, and now you're learning how to be great in your own way. And these again are small intensive workshops where you're sharing your work, with students who are also excited about learning how to be great writers, also excited about thinking about the things that you're thinking about in these very tiny, intimate, bonding classes. So that's the creative writing concentration. If you want to concentrate in film studies, again, you're learning about what great films and writers have come from the past, and then you're learning about how do you think about great films and writers of the present. Um, and then if you're in the English literature concentration, you continue along that path. So basically what we aim to give you at the English department um, is an experience where you're learning about writing and film and words and media and images throughout all of history so that you too can become a great writer, a great thinker, a great filmmaker in whatever you choose moving forward. And the best thing about being an English major at Manhattanville is the fact that you do all of this in tiny classes. We teach discussion classes at Manhattanville. So our classes have between eight and 25 at the most students. And what this means is that you get a lot of individualized attention from your professors, but also that you're learning through participating. Very, very rarely do you at Manhattanville sit in an English class um, and be lectured to. Very rarely are English professors standing up and telling you about something that happened. Most, 95 to 99% of our classes are discussion classes. So we're doing some reading and we're all getting together in a room and we're talking about it. And so you get a chance to test out your own ideas and to learn up through discussion with your peers and find out what other people think and, and experiment and explore and do all sorts of thinking in very 
small, close-knit classrooms with a professor who only has eight students, and so you're getting a ton of individualized attention. So basically, the best thing about being an English major at Manhattanville is the professors and the students. Professors here are amazing. I just can't say enough good things about my fellow English professors at Manhattanville. They're the kind of professors who leave their doors open to their offices because they want you to come in. We want you to come talk to us. We want to create an environment for you where you are being challenged and learning, but in a way that feels supported and a way that feels um, fulfilling. And we are most invested in you. You are our first or primary concern. Um, and equally, your fellow classmates who are also engaged in the same process you are, in the same learning process, in the same growing process. So we want you to leave knowing how to think critically, how to read, how to communicate effectively, and how to do research. These are the four basic skills that we're teaching you how to do. So we're teaching you how to think, think critically by giving you books and writers and thinkers from the past and asking you to think about arguments and come up with ideas about um, and opinions about what these guys said and women, what these, what these people said and how they created what they, the artwork that they created. And at the same time, we're gonna teach you how to write. And writing really is one of the most important skills that you can have in contemporary society. With all of the tweeting and the texting and the internet and Facebook and all of this and Google, right? We actually live in a society today that is more based on writing than we have ever been in society in the past. And in this contemporary climate, it is incredibly important that you know how to communicate effectively in writing. And that is what we specialize in in the English department. We will teach you how to think critically how to see a problem from multiple perspectives, how to do research and find all of the information that you need in order to evaluate an opinion and how to communicate effectively. One of the great myths about being an English major is that if you're an English major, after college, the only jobs you can really do are teaching and writing. And while teaching and writing are phenomenal jobs, not everybody wants to be a teacher or a writer. But the truth is that being an English major sets you up for a huge range of fields and jobs after college. So you could be a teacher or a writer, or you could be a journalist, a written journalist, or you could be a TV journalist, or you could be a social media manager, or you could be an influencer, or you could be a human resources executive at Google or a public relations executive, or you could be a technology writer, you could work in healthcare, you could work in any field you can think of. What you need are the skills of reading, writing, um, critical thinking, and research. And that's what we give you in the English department. On September 20th, 2019, the New York Times published an article comparing the earning potential of people who had graduated from college with different majors. And what they were doing was comparing people who graduated with science and technology majors to people who are graduated with English majors. And what they've learned was that although people who graduate with science and technology majors um, generally make more money right out of college than those first couple of jobs, over the long term, English majors had equal or greater earning potential to those who had graduated with science and technology majors. And the reason why is because in the English major, we teach you foundational things that you need for the long term. So we are teaching you how to communicate, how to think, how to see things from different perspectives, and how to do research. And these are the skills that are really going to take you through whatever career it is you choose. It was a really interesting article. You should check it out. And the best thing about being an English major at Manhattanville, or one of the best things, um, besides learning all of these things in an environment with really committed and engaged and interesting and energetic teachers and college students who are your peers who are also engaged and committed and interesting and energetic is that you get to do it about 40 minutes outside of New York City. New York City is of course this just mecca, this hub of art and culture and literature and business um, and 
because we're so close to New York City, we set our students up with internships. So you can have an internship at MasterCard where you can do public relations or human resources, or you can have an internship at a magazine, or you can have an internship at a tech, as a tech writer. There's so many opportunities because of the environment that Manhattanville gives you in your classroom, on campus, and then being so close to New York City. So basically, you can't go wrong as an English major at Manhattanville.